Hello, everybody. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. Um, uh, the, I was thinking just before, uh, uh, you know, uh, getting to the stage that uh, a little feedback to the organizers. Uh, it's very hard to talk after Oracle and Google, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to do <laughs> my best. Um, okay, so uh, uh, what I'm going to talk about is um, about personalization uh, and what's the current status today. Um, is it important for the users of the e-commerce website? Um, are users buying more because of the personalization? Um, I'm going to share uh, some data, some use cases, and some case studies, and of course I'm going to relate that to Releva, that is a product that we created uh, a few years back. Uh, just a little bit of background of uh, myself and my co-founder. Uh, we are software engineers. Uh, we uh, have experience in artificial intelligence, big data, and of course uh, marketing products. Um, I'm also having an academic uh, career. I, uh, I'm teaching even at the moment uh, in Sofia University Artificial Intelligence. Um, yeah, so these are uh, the people behind Traleva. Uh, what is Traleva? And uh, I'll try to be high level here and uh, I'll try to dive deeper with, the, with, the, with what I'm uh, sharing with you. Um, so Traleva, you can think of it as uh, a one core uh, that is artificial intelligence that is trying to predict a few things. Uh, some of them are very important. What is the next basket or the next products that a user wants to buy on your shop? Uh, second thing is uh, what's the price range that uh, this person uh, is uh, looking for? When this user is going to buy, what is the channel that uh, this user, if we contact that user to that channel, is going to facilitate the purchase? And there are a few other things that are not very important. This core is uh, changing, uh, is transforming the website or the app of uh, our clients. It's personali it, it personalizes it. It also personalizes the multi-channel communication with these users with the final goal to optimize the revenue, so to boost the revenue. This is the final goal and this is our Northern Star. This is what we measure every month. Are we generating more revenue, more revenue for our clients? Um, Releva, just very quickly here, uh, we've been financed with a little bit more than uh, 1 million uh, euro uh, from uh, uh, Google for startups, uh, from venture capital, we've been spotted also by HubSpot and we get some support from there. Um, obviously Releva is uh, deep technology, uh, there is uh, a lot of research behind that, that I did before, it, it's published in uh, peer review uh, conferences and journals. Um, what we, and I'm proud that we do, is that we are able to consistently increase the revenues of our client with uh, around 20%. For some a little bit less, for some a little bit more, you will see in the case studies later on. Um, and uh, at the moment we are reaching uh, more than 2 million people and uh, we sent uh, more than 50 million emails. Uh, we also sent uh, messages to other channels uh, and uh, we are able to generate more than 1 million uh, a month uh, for our clients. At the moment we have more than uh, 200 brands um, and we are growing uh, about 300% uh, year over year in the last two years. Uh, what I'm proud to share with you is that um, um, our clients are happy with uh, our product onboarding, uh, with our technical onboarding, with our customer success, and uh, with the personalization that we do for them, you know, with optimization for growth. Um, you can go to our, our website, we, we share some, test, some more testimonials there as well. Uh, so let's uh, talk a little bit about what is the current status of personalization um, at that moment. Um, so is it, uh, is it uh, a, a tool that, uh, you, you know, you can just, if you are on a WooCommerce, uh, you just, uh, you know, you, you get a free form for, for a product recommender or you get another tool, you, you pay for that, you put it on the website and uh, you think that you and uh, you feel that you're personalizing the website or it's a process and a set of tactics to elevate the user experience on, 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 a, on, a, on, on the next level. 
Um, and personally, I think that it's, uh, it's a lot of things. Uh, the first and most important is that you as a business should want to do it, should want to be able to personalize for your users. Uh, you should want to improve your communication with your users. And then uh, you should uh, rely on a process uh, that uh, is, uh, you know, someone else. I've been working quite a lot on it uh, to, to make it uh, a good start for you. Uh, and that's that's, uh, uh, that's uh, uh, what I will show you in a second. Um, but uh, to uh, explain a little bit better what is personalization, I want to start with uh, a, a story. It's, it's my personal story, uh, and it's for a physical shop, a brick and mortar shop. Um, when I was a teenager, uh, I was living in a small city in Bulgaria, and on that street where I was living, there was a shop, a grocery shop. It was selling like uh, food and groceries and coffee and stuff like that at the beginning of the street. And I was almost every, every other day I was going there to buy, uh, like to shop for groceries. Um, and uh, I knew this person uh, since uh, I was born. Uh, he knew me as well. Uh, he knows my family, uh, that my family is uh, brand aware for wine and uh, like price aware for water and so on and so forth. He even selects the products based on what we are buying, what, what we want. Um, and uh, I actually liked it to go there. Um, and uh, comparing that to like going to, you know, like the local super, to, to the big supermarket or, you know, like purchasing online, I realized that I actually don't like that. And, and I really love to go and talk to this person. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, personalization and engagement is really relates to that story. Um, and it really influenced us as a company. So to share just some data with you, 93% of the consumers expect online shopping experience to be at least equal to, if not better, than brick and mortar. 52% uh, would be paying more if they find faster what they're looking for. 69% would pay more for value-added additional services that are personalizing their experience. Only 6% are finding always their experience uh, relevant. 91% of consumers are more likely to shop with brands who recognize, remember, and provide relevant offers and recommendations. 83% of the customers are willing to share their data to create more personalized experiences. So all these data, they show that, um, um, that uh, if people are not getting personalized experiences at the moment online. Um, and uh, we are engineers, right? So and uh, what engineers actually do with problems, and we actually have a problem. Uh, uh, there is either a huge gap in, uh, uh, in trust between users and brands, so th there is a huge gap between how brands communicate with the users. Um, and I can't tell you which is, uh, which, is, uh, which is right, but I can tell you that there is a problem. And what engineers do, and engineers are a little bit crazy with that, they got the problem, they throw it in the air, it falls down and breaks in million pieces, and then the engineers love, you know, they really love it, to go and pick the pieces and put them together in a unique and new way. Uh, I don't know why is that, but this is what they call it, uh, you know, thinking from, from first principles. Um, and uh, I'll tell you how we envision, uh, and what, what actually our tool is doing at the moment, it's not only envisioning, uh, to scale. Um, it's back. Uh, to scale this brick and mortar experience I told you about in the electronic world. So let's say that we have Mandy here, and Mandy is having a dog. She loves a dog, and she usually buys food uh, from a store next door. Uh, it's across the street, sorry about that. But this store uh, closes for some reason. Let's say that during the pandemics, uh, they needed to close or something. Uh, what Mandy can do is to choose uh, another uh, shop that is uh, two streets down, but she needs to carry, you know, heavy bags, or she can go online for the same brand, and this is exactly what, uh, what she did. She went online, uh, the site uh, asked her to, uh, uh, does she wants to be, uh, the site to communicate with her, and uh, of course she 
uh, trusted the brand and uh, uh, she opted in. Uh, she looked in the site uh, and uh, she browsed food um, and what the engine insight uh, can understand from this browsing is that she's having a mid-sized dock, that uh, this dock is uh, rather old, it's 10 years old, um, and uh, um, like uh, various other things like brand, that she likes a particular brand. Um, she, added, she added this uh, a particular food in the basket, but uh, she thinks that she will buy next week uh, because she's having uh, enough food for two more weeks. Uh, those who have dogs know that uh, we are pretty consistent in you know, <laughs> walking dogs outside. Um, and uh, she's given a habit to like uh, walk the dog and then sit on a bench, check email, drink coffee. And uh, what this software can, uh, uh, will do is to send an email in optimal time for her when she's exactly on that bench. Uh, it's checking when she's online, when she checks emails and stuff, and uh, she gets an email for abandoned basket exactly when she's sitting on, on, on the bench. Uh, Mandy clicks and goes directly to the basket, and then on that basket, just before checking, checking out, uh, she got a, a recommendation for repellent because the system knows that many people are buying repellents with food at that time of the year. Uh, she looks at the repellent uh, but chooses not to buy it because uh, her dog is protected at the moment. But she buys the food. Next week she gets an email with a special, special selection of products. I think that she added it to the favorites or not. Maybe not, that's, that's the other thing. <laughs> um, um, okay, so these are few different use cases that I'm, I'm trying to explain to, to storytelling here. So um, uh, next week, uh, uh, she gets uh, an email uh, with a special selection, so what this software can do as well is to pick up uh, from the discounted products and from uh, uh, products that are on the sale and create a newsletter with individual products for each person. So she gets something like this. Uh, she clicks on an email and uh, she got reminded about this uh, repellent and it's next, this is next week and she's thinking that it's time to buy something like that. Uh, she looks at the repellent and there is a component that is uh, not quite right for her dog. Maybe the dog is uh, allergic to that or, or something like this. She try, she's trying to you know, like close the website and there is a pop-up that is uh, showing the next uh, in rank product, discounted or reviewed or start, um, and uh, she actually likes that product. Uh, she's buying it and uh, she got an SMS with, uh, uh, an uh, with, with a link that goes to a, to, to a page on the website where she gets the tracking inf information. Uh, but uh, on that website, uh, she also looks at recommendations and banners and uh, uh, because the system knows that uh, who, uh, who, uh, these people that are <laughs> buying uh, uh, repellents, um, they are also buying pills for internal parasites, so uh, she got uh, uh, a recommendation for that as well. Um, she also, um, and she adds it to, to the favorite product, so she just clicks and put it in favorites. She got, uh, she can get a, um, a request for product review for, for, the, uh, for, the, for the repellent. Um, a week after she put it in favorite, she got uh, 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 in optimal time, of course, she's getting this, uh, this push uh, to remind her about uh, the, 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 the parasite spill, uh, but she just got the call at that moment, so she got distracted and uh, she didn't uh, pay attention to that. Uh, so the next thing the system can do is to try a different channel for her. Let's say that push is not working, so the system will try a more expensive channel, like Viber. She's trying to do ads on Viber. Let's say that, that she's not paying attention to that as well. She liked it but didn't click or didn't interact with that. And the system will try Facebook ads as well. Um, what is really interesting here is that uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the AI, the core is, is learning and it's not only converting well, 
or the more it knows about the person, the better it converts it on the website. But it also can get traffic to the website and also can save money. And, and, and it's saving money exactly with, with, with that retargeting, with choosing the cheaper channel first, with experimenting and, uh, you know, these people that open email that is a cheaper channel do, do not get uh, Facebook advertising. It's, of course, configurable. You can spam on every channel, but this is not what we want here. Uh, and yeah, so, um, so this is what we want to show here, that there, is, uh, there are different use cases for visitors, for clients. So let's say visitors, we're going to show popular products. Uh, when we see enough uh, sessions for that user, we will start using uh, deep rec uh, recommender models. Uh, then when we have a uh, few purchases, we can start predicting the next basket, when will happen the next basket, what are the price ranges. Um, we also do not stop communicating with the customer in the post-purchase. You know? It's not like, you know, I think that you're going to buy from me next month, so I'll stop communicating and talking to you um, in that one month. I'm talking to you in the post-purchase. I'm, I'm telling you when that will arrive, what others are buying at the moment, why you should buy that, and so on and so forth. Um, and a uh, few, few use cases, and I'm finishing in one minute. Um, Biomax uh, is one of the bigger, shop, bigger shops that we are working with. Uh, they, have, they sell home furniture. They are about a million and a half page views. They use uh, uh, most of our features, and uh, they're growing with us 20% uh, consistently, um, consistently uh, every month. It's not month over month. It's consistently 20%. Um, Trendo is like a marketplace for clothing. They are a little bit smaller. They are uh, about 1 million uh, page views. However, they go to 2 million and, and more in some parts of the year. Uh, and they grow with us 45%. Uh, they have a very good integration with us, and they are one of our uh, older clients. Uh, the green ones. So the green ones are a little bit, a little bit smaller than, than Trendo. Uh, they uh, are leader in the in the e-commerce sector for healthy or, or, and organic foods. They are about 250,000 page views, and they grow with us 22%. Uh, By growing, I mean attributed revenue to the platform. Um, and the smallest one is Kindergarten uh, or, or uh, kind Kinderland. Uh, they uh, are about 45,000 uh, uh, page views. Um, so they sell uh, uh, children clothes and accessories. They're not a leader in the segment. That's a mistake. Sorry about that. Um, they use uh, most of our features, and they were able to grow with us 40%. Uh, they are shops that grow, that grow with us a little bit less than 20. Uh, but these are... Um, uh, a little bit more than 20 that I'm showing here. So come to our booth. We have a booth just around the corner, and we can show you more use cases. If you want, or we can answer questions, or I can answer questions now. <laughs> we, may, we may start asking questions. Questions for Georgi. Here we are. Hi, my name is Elias, and <coughs> I have a question regarding uh, the marketing strategy that you used. Uh, what platform did you use for that numbers you, uh, you showed us uh, for the last? Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, so you're talking about uh, you, you're talking about the case studies? Yeah, like 20% growth in purchases is. Yeah, that's 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 our platform. That's the relevant. Everything that I was talking about was the platform that we are building. Ah, uh, okay. Apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. If, if no, no I worries. was not. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if, if I was not quite quite right in that. Any other questions? Nope. Thanks a lot, Georgi. Cheers. Thanks yeah, a thank lot. you very much. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks.